Hello everyone and welcome to the vibration and dynamics lab. The title of this experiment is free and force vibration of a damped system. If you will see carefully, this is our apparatus where we are having this beam. The beam is pinned at both sides and the red one, this lower portion is your damper. When we see this damper from inside, you will note that this cylindrical portion is filled with oil. This rod is actually connected with a piston which is moving within this cylinder and the piston has some holes. So when the plunger will move, the oil will pass through these holes and it will provide a friction in terms of the viscous resistance. So whenever we are going to give a harmonic oscillation to this end, because of the viscous force, there will be a damping in your system and when, if I will connect this viscous damper with this system, the viscous damping will come into the picture and give damped vibration. So if I will explain the complete setup, here we are having our beam, both ends are pin end, this is your motor which is used to excite the system. On the motor there are two discs on the front and the back side. On the disc we are having an unbalance, so whenever we will give rotation to this disc, there will be an harmonic force excitation on this beam. So what is your objective today? You have to first give the free vibration to this system and you have to measure the oscillation frequency and for that purpose you can use a high speed camera. So this is your free vibration and you can use a high speed camera to measure the vibration and then you can measure the oscillation. So you will get the free vibration frequency of the system when you have the damper attached to the beam. Similarly, you can remove the damper and you can also measure the free vibration frequency of this system. After measuring the free vibration frequency, the next job would be to do the force vibration and for that purpose, we are having this speed controller. The speed controller is showing some digits which actually indicating the RPM of this motor and how we are measuring this RPM. Through this wire, we have attached a tachometer here. So whenever the disc will rotate, the tachometer will read the reading, uh, the rotation and the reading will come on this panel. If I will start my system by giving rotation to this knob, the motor will uh, start rotating. You can see here and because of this unbalanced force, the beam is vibrating. So we have to be very careful and we have to increase the speed slowly and then we have to observe the vibration. Currently the speed is 290 RPM. And if I will see the vibration, currently the vibration is relatively very small. Let's increase the speed. If I will increase the speed, you can see here that the vibration amplitude has increased now. Currently the speed is around 323. And here is the level of vibration. I have increased the speed now and you can see that because of the resonance, there is a large amplitude vibration. As we cannot keep the vibration level high for long time, we have again reduced the speed. Currently my reading is 478 RPM. At this 478 RPM, you can see that the amplitude of vibration again reduced. That means what happens to your system? You have crossed the resonance condition. So in this way, you have to complete your experiment by doing the free and force vibration of a damped system. In addition to that, if you are also interested to measure the vibration amplitude of this device, you can use this scale and by the help of your camera, you can also measure the amplitude of vibration. Thank you.